let's extend our ideas of vectors in 2 space or 2D space and 3 space or 3D space to vectors in n space or an n dimensional space. So you're familiar with R being the set of all real numbers viewed as the real line and R2 is the set of all ordered pairs or two tuples which are points in the plane in two dimensions and R3 also had a geometric interpretation which are the set of ordered triples or three tuples which were visualized in 3D space. So extending this idea to Rn or n space then a set of all ordered n tuples being a sequence of real numbers so we have a1 a2 to an and for example our sequence of numbers in 2 space is a1 a2 now the operations of vectors in rn extend the vector operations in 2 space and 3 space now if we denote the vector a having the components a1 to an then in n space the zero vector has the same number of components but all zeros and similar to 2 space and 3 space we have two vectors a and b being equivalent if and only if their components are all equal so a1 is b1 a2 equals b2 and this continues up to n components now we can add vectors in 2 space by adding the individual components so we have a1 plus b1 and a2 plus b2 being the components of the resultant vector so you can visualize this by projecting the vector onto the horizontal axes so a has the component a1 and b has the horizontal component b1 so by geometry you can see that this distance a1 is the same as this distance so adding a1 to b1 gives the component of the resultant vector and similarly in the vertical direction we have the vertical component of a and the vertical component of b and this vertical component of b is the same as this vertical distance over here so adding a2 and b2 gives the second component of the resultant vector and similarly in 2 space we can visualize that the multiplication of a scalar by a is the same as multiplying that scalar by the vector's individual components and this extends to the subtraction of two vectors where we add a to the negated vector b so that's the same thing as subtracting their components in the horizontal and vertical directions so we can generalize these operations to n space while extending the properties of the operations including linearity, commutativity and associativity so we'll extend the operations intuitively to n space but we won't prove them so recall that adding a and b is the same as adding b and a 
So that's the commutative property. And then adding A and B. And adding a vector C to this result. Is the same as adding A. To B and C. So that's the associative property. And we've shown these geometrically using the parallelogram and head to tail methods in two space. So they're not obvious in n space, but they've been proven. And as you can imagine, adding a vector to the zero vector gives that same vector. So that's one of the identity properties. And if we multiply a scalar by the sum of two vectors, we can distribute the scalar in the parenthesis. So we have s by the vector a plus s by the vector b. And similarly, if we add two scalars and multiply the result by a vector, then we can distribute the vector inside the parenthesis. So we have the scalar s by a plus the scalar t by the vector a. And similarly, the associative property of scalar multiplication can be seen when we multiply a scalar by the result of another scalar multiplied by a vector. So that's the same thing as multiplying the two scalars first and multiplying the result by the vector. And we have another identity property. So we have the scalar 1 multiplied by a vector gives that same vector. And the vector a plus the negated vector a gives the zero vector. And similar to 2 space and 3 space, we can express a vector in n space using the column matrix of its components. So v1, v2, up to vn. And you can also express this vector as a row matrix. So that will be v is equal to v1, v2, and so on, up to vn. Let's use the properties of vector operations to solve for the vector x given the following equation. So what we can do is add the negated vector a to both sides, noting we use the commutative property. And using the commutativity of vector addition, minus a plus a is the same as a plus minus a, which is zero. And then we have minus k multiplied by x is equal to b plus minus a, which is the same thing as b minus a. And some vector plus a zero vector is this vector. So the zero vector disappears. And now you can do some simple algebra by multiplying both sides by minus 1 on k. Assuming k is not equal to 0. So remember that a scalar multiplied by another scalar and a vector is the same thing as multiplying the two scalars and then the vector. So what we get is minus 1 on k by minus k is 1 multiply by x and that's equal to minus 1 on k by b minus a and by the identity property 1 by x is just x so therefore our final result can be presented in the following form and you can choose to distribute the scalar inside the parenthesis 
to expand this. So you can see the analogies with algebra performed on the real numbers.